What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a product review on Last Fit All Weather Floor Mats. I've had them in the truck for about a month and a half now. I had some, got some time under my, my belt with them just so I can give you guys an honest review and an honest opinion. I specifically waited that long for that reason to do this review. So I'm gonna give you guys a look at them. We had the Husky X-Ax in here before these Last Fits. So we're gonna kind of talk about each one and, and compare the two of them and just you know give you my opinion on both of them. And uh, you know you guys can decide for yourself which one if, if either you'd like to go with. So let me get the camera flipped around and I'll show you what they look like and we'll talk a little bit about them. All right, here we go, guys. Now, don't mind the mess. I specifically did not clean these just so you guys can see what they look like after a month and a half of Northeast Pennsylvania wintertime. <laughs> it's actually snowing right now, as you can see on the camera. So this is a month and a half of use in snow, ice, mud, you name it. You know, these things have seen it. So that's what they look like fitment wise. I'll put some pictures on the screen so you guys can see what they look like clean. Um, they're very good looking floor mats, but fitment wise, you can see they fit just about perfect. You can see right down in here, there's no gap. It comes up small, tiny little gap right there, but that's, God, that's nothing. Um, they come up onto the carpet area here. You can see underneath the, the pedals there. The only spot that it doesn't fit perfectly, and I don't know why, is right here. You can see there's a tiny gap like the the truck bubbles out a tiny bit right there but the floor mat bubbles out a little bit more so there is a tiny gap right there now i can probably take a heat gun or something like that warm that up and try to get it to you know fit the contour a little bit better right there that's not a huge deal to me my huskies actually didn't they fit a little bit better than this but the huskies actually did not fit perfectly in that area as well i'm not sure why what it is but again i could probably take a heat gun warm that up and get it to fit the contour a little bit better. But as you can see, the rest of it fits very well. They butt right up to the seat, to the pedestals, and obviously they, they lock in with the two pins there, just like any set on the driver's side. So fitment wise, I've been pretty happy with them. Let me give you a look at underneath. And again, I have not cleaned this, the interior of this truck in a month and a half, well, the floors anyway. So that's what it looks like after a month and a half. So, you know, they do their job for sure. Again, Northeast PA wintertime, snow, ice, mud, <laughs> everything in between. Um, they're definitely doing their job there. So let me show you the passenger side. Okay, so here's the front passenger side. This is the one that I was really interested in seeing how it was going to perform. My Huskies were notorious for sliding forward, even though they had that pin right here in the middle. These last fits, I, this is a definite advantage for these last fits. I have not adjusted this floor mat whatsoever. And as you can see, if anything, it slid forward, I don't know, what would you call that gap? Maybe half inch, three quarters of an inch, if that. Um, and that that's it. Again, I have not cleaned these. I have not adjusted them. My wife has been in and out of the truck. My daughter's been sitting up here and that is all they slid forward. So that is a huge improvement over my Huskies. That is a definite advantage in my opinion um, for me with these last fits over the Husky XX. The Huskies would slide forward. I mean, I'd find them, you know, they'd be pushed up. Half the floor mat would be up under here. The top would be rolled down. They were just notorious for, for sliding on me, even though they had that pin in the middle. These last fits, that's the most they've slid since I put them in the truck a month and a half ago. So huge advantage for the last fits. I'll give you a look at the fitment. So again, you can see they fit pretty well all along the edges here. I'll give you a look at up underneath there. Same thing um, with the inner side here. The truck does bubble out a little bit there, but I'll give you a look basically straight down on top of it. And you can see there's really not much of a gap, a, a very, very slight one. But I mean, that's so minimal on the passenger side, you know, you, you can barely even notice it. All right, so let's take a look at the back. Um, this, I will tell you, the front passenger side for me, that was a huge improvement and that's basically i wasn't sure if i was going to put my huskies back in or keep these or whatever this the fact that these stay put as good as they do hands down won me over and my last fits will be staying in this truck but let me give you a look at the back there's one thing that i do not like that i wish the last fits had um, so let's take a look at the back here so let's take a look at the rear here gotta say hello to my partner in crime first, Mr. Blue. He's looking at me like, when are we going? <laughs> he absolutely loves the truck. So as you guys can see, Blue is with me literally almost constantly. If I'm in the truck and I'm not working, he's probably with me. So these rear floor mats take a beating. This is a month and a half of use. 
no repositioning, no cleaning, no nothing. So this is what they look like after a month and a half. As you can see, the fitment is just about perfect. There's a very, very slight gap in certain spots right along this edge here. That is the one thing that I did prefer on my Huskies. I wish Last Fit offered the option of the full coverage. I did like that just to kind of protect this carpet up here. Unfortunately, at this point, I don't think Last Fit offers that, but that is the one and only thing that I would say after running these for a month and a half that I preferred on my, my Huskies. I do wish these Last Fits had that full coverage coming up over this, this back part of the seat. All right, but as you can see, Fitment, it's just about perfect. I'll give you a look up underneath the seat here. Don't mind the empty McDonald's box there. I'm got to love the kids. <laughs> so I'll give you a look at the other side real quick, but you get the point. I mean, these things fit perfectly. They're very, they feel very durable. And these little spots where they don't fit, you know, 100% perfect, I, you know, heat it up with a heat gun and, and boom, you'd be able to kind of conform that. So all in all, I, you know, I've been thrilled with these. Um, let me give you a quick look at the other side and we'll wrap it up. All right, so real quick, just give you a look here. As you can see, the lines and the contours fit just about perfect. So very happy with them. All right, so I'm going to wrap this video up and uh, get Mr. Blue here out for his afternoon ride. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's my honest review of these Last Fit all-weather floor mats. Now, I do want to just throw something out here so you guys are aware. I'm always honest and transparent with you guys. These floor mats were sent to me by Last Fit to do a testing and review on. With that being said, I was upfront and honest with them right, right out of the gates when they offered them to me that my review would be honest if they were bad or didn't fit or whatever the case was, I was still going to review them and let you guys know how I felt about them. So I just wanted to get that out there so you guys know I'm always honest and transparent with you guys. So I wanted you to be aware that these were sent to me by Last Fit um, in order to do exactly what we did. Test them out, do a review on them, and uh, and that's it. So now that we got that out of the way, let's compare them to the, to the, to the Huskies that I had, the X-Ax. Um, if I was in the market right now, after running both now, again, these were in the truck for about a month and a half. If I was in the market right now and had to buy a set, number one, the last fits are less expensive. I'm not exactly sure of the difference. I'll actually look that up for you. As I'll, I'll post it on the screen here. Um, I'll look it up and, and put it on the video before I, I post this to YouTube. But the last fits are less, ex less expensive. Even if they were not, let's say they were the same exact price. Let's compare kind of apples to apples if we can. I would still choose these last fits. Not that the Huskies are bad. I did love my Huskies, but I would choose these last fits. And the biggest, the the basically the only reason would be this passenger side floor mat in the front. The Husky for me just did not stay put. I don't know why it had the pin that was supposed to kind of hold it in place. But anytime my wife or my daughter was in the truck or whoever, that floor mat would be slid all over the place. Sometimes it was up underneath the deck. It would drive me crazy. The fact that these have been in here for a month and a half and I have not adjusted that floor mat one time on these last fits and I showed you guys how it looked, that to me, I got to be honest, I would actually probably pay a little bit more for these if they, you know, knowing what I know now after running the Huskies and these, that to me is worth everything because that was such a pain to deal with. Now, the one thing I don't like about these last fits, as I mentioned, I do wish they offered the full coverage in the back. Hopefully maybe last fit will come out with a set, you know, uh, like that in the future. That is one thing I'm going to, you know, miss with the Huskies. I still have my Huskies here actually. And I know that's probably going to be asked, you know, am I going to keep these last fits in the truck or go back to Huskies? I'm sticking with these last fits for sure. Um, they're, they're just as good all around as the Huskies are just huge advantage with these last fits is the fact that this passenger side front does not slide anywhere near as bad as the husky did the rear again it is what it is i do kind of um sorry about that i do kind of miss you know i i do kind of want that full coverage in the rear Hopefully last fit will hear this and, and you know come out with it in the future. But other than that, that is the only downfall or I guess advantage of the Husky, if you want to call it that, is the rear full coverage. So I'm gonna wrap this video up, guys. Take it for what it is. You guys can use code Judge10, just so you know. Um they, they offered me a discount code for the channel. Um so Judge 10, save yourself 10% site wide on the floor mats or any of their, their LED bulbs or anything like that. Um, so yeah, Judge 10 will save you 10% site, site wide with Last Fit. I decided to partner up with them after you know seeing how good their products are, and they offered me that discount code for you guys. So feel free to use it. I'll link these down below. 
um, in, in case you guys want to get a set, I'll put a link down below. You can just click on it. It'll take you right to their website. Any questions, comments, concerns, um, feel free to leave them down below. I'll get anything answered for you. So I'm going to wrap this up, get my buddy here for a ride, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care.